Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to another episode of our weekly Lightroom edit. Now, many of you guys know that I'm actually out in China right now, and this recording is actually coming to you from China. So we're going to work on images that I have actually shot out here while on photo walks and little excursions and stuff, and while working actually. This shot was taken out in a rural area of Canton. That is a really hard word to say, rural. Rural. <laughs> anyway, so it's at a farm. We went out there to, uh, on one of our breaks, we actually went out there to pick oranges from this farm, which there weren't any oranges, but I did happen to see uh, this awesome farmer out there doing his farming thing and also getting his little uh, smoke on. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know why he's smoking while he's farming, but I don't know, maybe there's smoked vegetables, who knows? Getting a little fresh air. That's what they say out here. Whenever they go out to smoke, they're like, oh, I'm going to go get some fresh air. I'm like, okay, you're going to go smoke. I don't know how that relates to fresh air, but whatever. All right, so he's getting on, smoking, farming, doing his little thing. Uh, I got this shot of them. I thought it was a really cool shot, and when I look at the shot, again, when we're talking about vision, I kind of see this um, really gritty, uh, vintage kind of looking shot, circa like a 1970 National Geographic. Um, so originally I was kind of thinking maybe it'd be cool as a black and white, but then no, I was like, it'd be cool if it was in color, but it had like a really vintage feel. So let's produce it to have that feel. All right, so let's get started. White balance and everything is pretty close to where it needs to be, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our contrast and blacks. I'm gonna pump it up pretty high, uh, and you guys will see actually why in a second. We're gonna pump up the black super high, uh, so it looks really crushed right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the detail out of this to give it like a really nice vintage feel. So let's add some contrast in. Contrast is gonna give it that really nice high color edge to it. All right, I'm going to pump up the uh, clarity quite a bit because I want it to be really gritty. I want it to be really kind of have a strong amount of contrast. And so boosting that mid-tone contrast is going to help a lot. Next thing I want to do is we're going to pump up the vibrance, but then we're going to pull down the saturation. And what this does is it kind of has this reverse saturation effect where it pulls down a lot of the colors and then brightens up only the brightest of those colors. So it has kind of a nice look. All right, now we've got these basic adjustments done. I'm not going to touch recovery yet. If I need to, I'll go to it, but I don't want to touch it yet just because uh, I don't want to kill my contrast if I don't need to. So let's do this. I'm going to go and in, into my turn, tone curve now, and uh, we're going to switch the point curve to linear. That way we can have a straight line and we can adjust our contrast however we like right now. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this base point and I'm going to pull it up. And what this is going to do is going to kill that detail in the shadows. So we're going to raise it up and that kind of gives it that nice fade. So let's raise it up, raise it up right there. I'm having a hard time speaking English right now. I think it's because I've been speaking a lot of Chinese over the past week. Okay, so we're adding another point just to pull down some of the blacks a little bit. I'm going to add another point to lift up the uh, highlights. And then we're going to pull down this uh, shadow point just a little bit more. And that looks really cool right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of give it that mm, old school kind of feel with, uh, well, we're going to do several things. But let's start first with some brushes. So what I want to do is we're going to click on our adjustment brush. You can also hit K to get there. And let's just clear this out. So let's just do, uh, actually, let's just hit that. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to hit Reset. So it just resets all my settings here reset. Okay. And what we're going to do, I'm going to do two things. One thing, I want to kind of just reduce the overall sharpness of the image. Um, and so for that, I'm just going to take it down to about negative 50. And we're going to paint over basically the entire image. And again, because we, we want this to feel like it's coming kind of from an old school camera. It's a 1970 feel. Um, so we don't want it to be too sharp. I'm going to zoom in just so I can see it. And that looks great. It has kind of this nice soft edge to it, which is exactly what you'd see in that kind of era of camera. So now what we're going to do is hit New. I'm going to hit Alt again and then hit click Reset one more time. This time we're going to really kind of uh, basically dehance the, the lens effects, the optics. Because what we want to do is optics back then, they had a lot of distortion and kind of softening on the edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down our clarity and our sharpness all the way down. And I'm going to go along the edge. And this is only going to be along the very, very edge. We're going to go a little bit less, uh, kind of less powerful and go into the image a little bit more. But I'm just painting around the edge with this kind of uh, softening filter or this, uh, yeah brush. So now let's click again on new. We're going to add one more. This time we're not going to go so far on the clarity and the sharpness. I'm going to go down to maybe like 30. 
sharpness maybe like negative 50 and we're going to paint in just a little bit more kind of around this farmer edge and just kind of bring it in a little bit so it's not such a hard adjustment like it's, it doesn't look such so contrasty from being completely soft on the edge to being sharp in the center so I'm just going to kind of paint around him and that looks great let's zoom into him I want him to still be somewhat sharp but not super sharp that looks really nice right there all right so it's kind of looking like a 1970 almost like a toy camera feel but there's a few things that we're still missing one of which I'm gonna actually add a little bit more blacks just to kind of pull it down a little bit more I really want to bring that attention into just kind of his face and the, the grass around him next thing I'm gonna go down we're gonna add some grain to this image because I wanted to have that gritty feel so let's pump up the grain let's go up to about let's try around 80 and we're going to zoom in because I, I like my grain to have a really nice fine film grain kind of quality to it. So let's bump it down just a little bit on the size and on the roughness. I'm going to bump it down just a little bit so it's a little more even type of grain. And that looks great. Now we can now toy around with our recovery a little bit. Let's see what it does for us. What I wanted it to do was kind of just adjust the sky only, but because his face is also a strong highlight, it's pulling down his face a lot. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a graduated filter and uh, we're going to hit alt again and then press reset to reset that. We're going to just pull down the exposure a little bit of the sky. I want it to kind of have a nice dark subtle fade to the sky and I don't want it to be noticeable so right now it's pretty dang powerful so what we're going to do is just pull it out a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it out to maybe 0.5 that's about right and then what I'm also going to do is kind of do a similar thing but we're going to use a brush instead so hit K to get to your adjustment brush um, and what we're going to do is just kind of kill a little bit of this uh, shadow detail down here just to kind of bring attention more to the center of the image. So let's just kind of remove some of that shadow detail. All we're doing is just pulling it down the exposure and because of our settings what that's doing is basically removing all that detail from the entire image. So and this looks great just like that. The last thing I'm going to do is just tweak my vignette a little bit. I see a kind of vignetting on the edge. I want to kind of pull it out and see if I like it better. And I do. I, I kind of like just a, a natural graduation in the sky. I don't want it to uh, look like it's been vignetted. So I'm going to pull this midpoint in and adjust it just so the sky looks completely even. Now this point right here, it looks like there's an actual, uh, I don't know what that is. It's not a, it's not like a, a dust mark, but it's probably like something in the foreground or the background that's kind of bokeling out and it looks almost like dust. So with my spot removal tool selected, hit Q to get to your spot removal tool, we're just going to heal it out and select an area that's nearby. So I'm just going to pull it over to here. It's just a little bit distracting. And that looks great. If I zoom in, it doesn't look like it's been uh, it cloned at all, so it looks completely fine. There it is. And we're nearly done. The last thing I'm going to do is just correct my composition a tiny bit. I'm going to pull it in just so he's right on that one-third line. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And there we go. We're done, guys. So let's check out the before. Here's our before image. And here is our after kind of 1970 vintage National Geographic look. So I like that look, it has a really nice gritty field. Again, there's 20 different ways of, there's a million different ways of post-producing this image, but that's kind of my vision for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode.